Yeah, this is Malky Thompson, an outdoor Scotland, playing Loch Fiatti, heading to Sylvan. Today we're in Elvin on the northwest coast and we're going to be climbing Sylvan. There it is straight ahead there. And look at that, it looks a fantastic hill. So uh, what we're going to do, we're going to walk from here down to uh, Loch Fiatti, just down there. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll paddle down, we'll camp at the base of the mountain, we'll climb the mountain, sleep out tonight and then tomorrow we'll paddle back home. It's going to be great fun. Elfin on the North Coast 500. That's us down to Loch Fiatti now. There it is. It looks stunning. You can't see, uh, oh, I was going to say you can't see Sylvan. You can see the tip of Sylvan up there. And you'll see a bit more as we go around. Uh, we'll get our boats inflated, usual 20 to 30 minute faffing about, and then we're paddling. This is the campsite, and there's Malky got the, uh, the Basha tarp up there, we'll be sleeping under there later. The boats will be getting used as windbreaks, sometimes we we'll sleep on top of them, we are maximum comfort. And uh, this, is, this is my area, the kitchen, I've got a cup of tea on the go there now. Yeah, but aye, it's looking good. Right, now after we have a cup of tea and some tea, or maybe after we've dinner, we'll go and, go and climb that bad boy there. There's Sylvan. It looks fantastic. It's a great looking hill. Love it. So it's just after five o'clock in the evening, and uh, I've decided to uh, make my way up Sylvan for in the evening. See if we can get up there for about seven o'clock. So we're not, uh, I'm not actually on the summit yet, but uh, there it is up there. But I'm at a really significant point, it's the Bialoch between the two tops. I'm just, I'm just going to do the big one. 
have a look. Look at that. It's a spectacular place indeed. Right now, look at this. Look at this. As you know, I'm always impressed with man-made historic things. My goodness me. Look at this. Near this top of Chauvin, you get a wall. It seems to run all the way down. With a gate in it. And even so, even worse, this side's even steeper. Well, it does seem to stop there. That, why is this here? Quite remarkable. Honestly, I just find these things incredible. Anyway, sun's in my eyes now, but we're heading that way. summit now that was fantastic so what a view what a view here's the summit cairn looking north oh it's just spectacular out to see uh, the town of Lochinver I think down there and uh, some of the Hebridean islands away out that way oh it's just lovely stack poorly Stack Polly over there. Uh, there's uh, Sullivan's uh, second top there. I'm not going to do that. I've run out. I'm running out of time. I'm running out of a bit of energy. Uh, it's time for me to go back down now. Uh, this has been fantastic. So that's me uh, come down the steep part there. Oh, look at that. It's taking me about maybe 40 minutes from the summit, and it is very steep. Hard on the, uh, hard on the old knees. Uh, so I think now I walk, jog back to the campsite and uh, and just get to my bed. You in, Malky? Yeah. Hello. How did it on? Very good. Good morning. Good morning. It is. Day two, and uh, it's a lovely morning. So it's uh, about six thirty in the morning, and uh, quite cold, probably about zero. Uh, there was a bit of frost last night, but it's looking a bit better now. Uh, so we'll be getting going soon enough. A couple of hours we usually hang about for. And they're solving covered in early morning mist that will clear and the sun will come up through there in the next ooh, 20 minutes I hope maybe warm it up a bit coffee's on
up. Okay, that's back at the car. We'll deflate the boats. Look, they're solving, waving goodbye to us. Got back in the sunshine. A little bit of rain helped the adventure, I'm sure. Climbing Sylvan by Norman McCaig. I nod and nod to my own shadow and thrust. A mountain down and down. Between my feet a loch shines in the brown. It's silver paper, crinkled and edged with rust. My lungs say no, but down and down this treadmill hill must go. Parishes dwindle, but my parish is this stone, that tuft, this stone, and the cramped quarters of my flesh and bone, I claw that tall horizon down to this, and suddenly my shadow jumps huge miles away from me.